everybody, Paul Richards here, Chief Streaming Officer. Hi guys, I'm Andy Chatfield, head of tech support here. Today we're going to talk about USB 3.0 extension. Yes we are. So um, USB 3.0 extension is something that I feel like a, not a lot of people know a whole bunch about. Um, a lot of people just assume you can you can assume US, you can extend USB 3.0 any, any way you really want, which is not exactly true. Um, I talk to installers almost daily who run Cat5 during the, the, the pre-install part of the, uh, the project, and then they go looking for a solution to use Cat5 after the fact, and I have to be the bearer of bad news and tell them there is nothing currently that really exists with, that will work with our cameras over Cat as far as a USB 3.0 solution. Um, there are other things that we have tested that do work, such as this device here is the Icron 3022. It is a fiber optic transmitter receiver for USB 3.0. We have tested, it works up to 328 feet. Same thing as, as CAT cable. It is um, a reliable solution in lieu of using CAT. Um, that being said, this device is seven to $900, depending on where you buy it. And it is a relatively expensive way to extend USB 3. Yeah, it goes over fiber. It's true plug and play, but there are no drivers that are needed with Icron. They have, a, Icron has really, is the USB yes. extension company. And the fact that this is the only way they're really doing USB 3 extension Goes to, goes to show you if they don't have a CAT solution, they then there's probably not a good and, one out and there. And Icon does a lot of the chipsets for the other companies, yes. from what I understand. That being said, since I just touched on the fact that Icron does not really have a USB 3 CAT solution, they are implementing one very soon. They yes. released, the, they basically showed it off at Infocom 2016, in the beginning of June here, and um, they have not released it yet, but it is going to be the basically the Maverick system. And it's going to be for USB 3, USB 3.1, and uh, 3.1C. I believe, I believe it's going to have USB 1, 2, and 3. I think so, it. yeah. I, I, don't, I haven't been five. able to dig too deep into the specs yet, but um, just my experience working with Icron stuff in the past, once this goes live, it's going to be fully tested. It's going to be good to go. It's most likely going to work with cameras. Yep. So what else do we have here? So um, the other thing I wanted to mention, uh, I already talked about going over fiber using the Icron 3022. The other thing you can do is use a frame grabber. Um, this is just a cheap little Epifan one. They, there are some other ones made by Magewell that we will use regularly. Mm -hmm. um, but this basically, you can pull in one SDI feed, and it goes out to one USB. So essentially, you can run your long distance using an SDI cable and then convert it to USB 3 on either end and be good to go. Yes. This is another solution It's not the most cost effective because these devices cost between three and four hundred dollars a piece. Um, and you have to pay for all the SDI cable as well. It's just another solution, another way to achieve the USB 3 signal. A lot of integrators like that way. So yes, it, like it that. works very it's reliably. probably the most reliable yeah. way. Yep. The frame grabbers actually work very well. So the other methods we have here is basically using a, a active USB 3 extension cable. We have two different ones that I want to show you today. We have the SIG one here. This is just a 15 meter um, USB A, female on one side, male on the other. And basically you just plug it in. The camera, the cable that comes with the camera plugs into this. The other end plugs into your computer. You're good to go. Um, the SIG cables come in lengths of 5, 10, 15, or 20. If you're using meters, the, meters I'm sorry. If you are um, so using meters, the, 15 feet. if you're using the 15 or 20 meter versions, you can daisy chain two cables together, or two cables together, and they would both need power supplies. Power if you're supply. using 5 and 10 meter cables, you can daisy chain four of them together, and all of them would need power supplies. So that being said, if you use one SIG cable to extend your camera, you do not need a power supply to use it. It will work with just plugging in the USB using the inherent USB cap uh, power of the computer. Now the SIG cables are, are fairly sturdy. Yes, they are more robust. I've had a lot of integrators like using them because they, they work well as far as pull. They have a pretty high pull strength. They're not going to break on you. They are very reliable to use. Um, that being said, the Corning one is another one that we use. This is a USB 3 optical cable. It's basically a USB um, A female to A male, and it works the same way as the SIG one, except this one does not require any additional power whatsoever. It just uses the power that comes off of your USB port. And these, you cannot daisy chain together, but they come in much more accommodating lengths. You can get them in uh, 10, 15, 20, 50, 
20, 30, or 50 meter lengths. So pretty much anything that should be able to accommodate your job. If you're passing the 150 meter length, you might want to start thinking about fiber or a frame grabber running over SDI. Yeah, we're using that. We're actually using the I, the look how look how thin this is. This cable. This is yeah, that is cable. that is fiber optic. I do want to say the. Um, it's very very brittle. Yes, the can, the we've had the corning so cable will. I believe the pull strength is about thirty five pounds. So I've had a lot of integrators try and pull them through thin conduit, and they have a very long head on them, and the head gets caught, and they end up having to pull it through, and it ends up breaking the cable. Uh, I will say with that, Corning is fantastic with their tech support. If you have one that breaks, they most likely will replace it for you, regardless mm -hmm. of how it broke. Um, you just got to get in touch with them. So, and the same. I think th they're working on making it more robust too. I would imagine so. Yes, and the same thing goes for Sig too. If you have any problem with your Sig cable, um, one thing I get a call about a ton is people call in and say their their camera quit working. I have them test the camera directly using only the supplied USB cable. It's not actually the camera that broke. It's something that happened with the USB extension. Yes. Um, when this happens, it's real easy to test. Just plug your, your camera directly using only the supplied USB cable that came with the camera into a computer and see if it pulls through that way. If it does, then your camera's fine. You've probably got a problem with your USB extension. Um, feel free to give us a call. I'm more than happy to give tips and tricks about getting your extension to work again, but at least probably 75% of the time it boils down to being a bad cable and you're going to have to get in touch with the manufacturer to get it replaced. Now, do the users still need to plug in the camera directly to the computer before they run it through? I the always system? recommend it, yes. Just it's, it's a recommended that the very first time you plug it into a dedicated PC, if it's going to be that PC, that it's always going to be there. It's, there's multiple reasons why, too. You want, to, you want to plug it in and just make sure your camera is operating, running perfectly with no extension in place, nothing else to gum up the works. Make sure everything's working. There's no issue with your camera. We have a two-week return policy. If something's wrong with your camera, you can return it, no questions asked. Um, so you want to make sure to test your camera in that time frame, make sure everything's good. Um, also, letting the drivers load for the camera first, not through a, an extension cable, is going to help the process along because the extension cable has to load its own drivers on. Yeah. And if those two happen at the same time, they can cause conflicts that make neither device work. So always plug in your, your camera first to your computer, let it load on the drivers, test it, make sure it's working, and then run it through the extension, make sure it's working through that. And once you're good at that point, install your system. Wonderful. So next thing we have here is we just put together a little tour of the websites that uh, we talked about. So uh, where do you want to start here, Andy? With Icron? Sure. So Icron, if you go to their products, they have all sorts of USB 2. Um, and a few USB 3 extensions. We're really looking at USB 3, and as you can see, they have the, the fiber, the USB 3 Spectra 3022 as one of their solutions. They also have the Spectra 300115 in the upper right there. That is just a powered extension cable. Just like the, the Corning oh. and the SIG, I've tested it, it works fantastic with the cameras, um, and it basically uses a separate USB connection. You have to have two USB connections to power the thing. So. It does work reliably, though. Okay. So the Corning optical cables, the main reason you're probably going to have to go here is if you go into the upper, the top there, there should be the support link, and go to contact us. And you should be able to get in touch with them at this point um, and let them know what's going on with your cable, what's happened. I've dealt with a few of these myself for our customers, and uh, Corning is really pleasant to deal with. They're not going to try and finagle you try, they're not going to try and blame you basically they're they're going to help you out and make sure that you as a customer have a working solution in a reasonable time frame great so next one we have is sig sig is the same thing um, you're mainly going to want to know where to go for support here if you have a bad cable okay um the support is right there yep. support and you're you're going to want to go in and email support Got it. And you're going to want to let them know, you know, what you have, what's going wrong, what camera you're using it with, things like that. And they should do, they should be able to get back to you and um, go from there. So we also wanted to show Magewell. I'm sure some of our, you know, viewers would know of this, but this is that frame grabber where you can take SDI in and go right to USB 3. Yep. So the cam, you buy an SDI camera, it goes out to the fame, it goes over SDI the distance you need because SDI can go a very long distance. And then at the computer end, you just convert it to USB 3, and then you're good to go. Instead of using um, 
The fiber extension, you could use something like that to achieve USB 3 signal at your camera. Or at your computer, I'm sorry. So that has been our video on USB 3.0 extensions. If you find this helpful, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have uh, free virtual sets for our customers, um, live streams every Friday, tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you guys.